Good day. Today, I will give you an extra lesson for grade 9 students. But before that, kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Okay, for the grade 9 students out there, I made this video for you. And I will talk about or I will discuss about the solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Okay, before that, let us first recall about the degrees of polynomials. The first is the constant. When we said constant, it is a polynomial with a degree of 0 or the exponent of 0. Linear is for the polynomial with a degree of 1. Quadratic is for a polynomial with a degree of 2. Cubic is a polynomial with a degree of 3. Quartic is a polynomial with a degree of 4. And quintic is a polynomial with a degree of 5. Okay, let us recall what is the definition of a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree of 2 or degree 2 that can be written in the following standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Where a, b, and c are real numbers, a must be greater than to 0 and a must not be or must not be equal to 0. In this equation, ax squared is the quadratic term or yung may exponent na 2 and then bx is the linear term in which the variable must have the degree or the exponent of 1 and c is the constant term with the degree of 0 or yung walang variable x. I have here examples of quadratic equations. First is the x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. This is an example of quadratic equation. Second is the 4d squared is equal to 24. Meaning, since wala tayo nakikitang uh, may variable dito na x lamang or may exponent na 1, automatic the letter b in the standard form is 0. Next is a squared minus 60. And the last is 3y squared minus 21y is equal to 0. In solving quadratic equation, we can apply the following method. First is solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. So we have the example x squared is equal to 25. So we just have to get the square root of x squared and the square root of 25. Okay, the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 25 is positive or negative 5. So therefore, we have the two, val the two values of x. x is equal to positive 5 and x is equal to negative 5. Second example, 9x squared is equal to 36. If the given ax squared has a numerical coefficient, more than 1 or greater than 1, we have to first divide both sides of the equation by this numerical coefficient. Okay, so let us divide 9x squared and the 36 by 9. And then, kapag nag-divide tayo ng 9 dito sa left side ng equation, kailangan mag-divide din tayo dito sa right side ng equation. So let us now divide 9x squared to 9. So 9x, 9x squared divided by 9 is x squared. 36 divided by 9 is 4. And then, tsaka na natin kukunin ang square root ng x squared at ng 4. So the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 4 is positive or negative 2. Again, there are two answers or two values of x in each given. In this answer, or in this second example, the answers are x is equal to positive 2 
and x is equal to negative 2. Let's have another example, number 3, 4x squared is equal to 49. Again, we have to eliminate the numerical coefficient here, which is 4, so we have to divide both sides of the equation by 4. And then, let us now divide 4x squared by 4, and then 49 divided by 4. So, let us just cancel 4 and 4. So, ang natira na lamang ay x squared. And then, let us bring down x squared is equal to 49 over 4. Why? Because we cannot divide 49 by 4. So, let us have this given answer. And then, let us now get the square root of x squared and 49 over 4. So, what is the square root of x squared? And what is the square root of 49 over 4? So, x is equal to positive or negative 7 over 2. Question, bakit naging 7 over 2 ang final answer? Because the square root of 49 is 7 and the square root of 4 is 2. Therefore, the square root of 49 over 4 is positive or negative 7 over 2. Last example. The product of x plus 2 squared is equal to 0. Okay, for us to get the answer, you just have to get the square root of x plus 2 quantity squared and the square root of 0. So, how do we get the square root of this given binomial? So, you will just cancel the square root symbol and the exponent which is 2. So, ang natira na lamang ay ang x plus 2. And then, we have to now get the square root of 0. So, let us bring down x plus 2 is equal to 0 because the square root of 0 is 0. And then, wala pa tayong value ng x dito. Kailangan ng kalalabasan is x equals. So, you just have to transpose this positive 2 to the right side of the equation. Remember, when you are transposing a number to the other side, the sign of the number will change or magbabago. So, kung dito, ang sign ng 2 is positive, kapag inilipat natin siya sa kabilang side ng equation, this will now become negative. So, magiging x equals 0, binring down lang natin yung 0, and then positive 2 will now become negative 2. So, let us now simplify x is equal to 0 minus 2. So, the answer is x equals negative 2 because 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And that is the value of x. Okay, let us now summarize what we have learned in this lesson. Solving for the values of the variable x by extracting square roots. First, Quadratic equation in the form x squared is equal to c. Remember, the given equation or quadratic equation must be in this form. x squared is equal to c, wherein x squared is the first term and c is the constant. Next, extracting the square roots of the left and right sides. So, kapag nakuha na natin ang square roots ng left side at ng right side ng, ng quadratic equation, iyon na yung final answer. Sana ay may natutunan kayo sa lesson natin ngayon. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all.